Hello there folks, right, welcome back to another review. Today we're going to take a look at Trumpeter's brand new, well I say brand new, um, P40E Warhawk. Now I know they've been doing a few different variants like the F and the M and the N I believe. They had like, I think the F had extended tail, the M and the N had like different canopy I believe. But uh, I do like the E variants and when I saw this pop up on... Um, E models, I believe. Um, I picked up, if I'm like I just said, duh. E models, they had a Black Friday sale, I picked a few other bits and pieces up, and this was one of the things. I have a couple of nice kits lined up that we're going to review, all brand new, well, apart from one ish, but there we go, just keep an eye out for them. But, like I said, we're going to have a review of this beautiful box art, and I'll go a lie, I do love the Flying Tiger scheme. And it's, yes, it is a Flying Tiger scheme, so. Anyway, enough from me waffling, we're going to turn the camera around and we're going to take you to the overhead and see what is in this beautiful box. Alrighty folks, here we are, sorry about the glare, let me just try and push that away from the scene a bit. There we go. We have the beautiful box, like I just said. Uh, scale 1 for second, it is going to be a really big, well it's not really, well... 30 second scale is actually a pretty big scale for us aircraft modellers. Um, obviously my standard scale is 148, but sometimes you just like to bite the bullet and go for a bigger variance. So like I said, I saw this pop up on the website and I thought, oh, that's going to be a nice scheme because I do like the E scheme. Sorry, the E variant, sorry. I don't know why, it's that mix between uh, the early variant. It's that kind of a mid one. So the B variant trumpet to do had the 50 cows going through the fuselage halves through the prop and then had two foot sorry four foot calibers in the wings. Uh, this is the upgrade version so I believe it had I can't I don't know if they're 30 cows or 50 cows in the wing but either way it's a menacing thing. If you put put this under the right strain and the right pilot it would make a quite outstanding thing. And as for that, let me just grab this for two seconds. So I picked this up the other day I did it where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go, gotcha. <laughs> I picked this up from Waterstones the other day actually. Uh, if you're in the UK, you'll know which bookstore that is. Uh, in fact, that's in our bag. So, literally, this arrived at the same time as the thing, so quite go together. So, we got the Zero as well as the Tom Walk. Very beautiful book. Very, very nice indeed. And there we have. There we go. And that's the Zero cockpit. Sorry, wrong one. Come on. Come on, there we go, there we have the P40 cockpit. So there we go, all that done and dusted. So, anyway, we're going to crack the box open. Well, actually, let's start with a bit of the subjects. Okay, so the item number for this is 02269. It's like I said, it's 132nd scale. And I believe we get uh, four marking options in this kit. So let's open the box, if you can, let's say. I've noticed a lot of kit companies are putting really, really tight boxes on. I mean, I'm struggling. Two seconds. Come on. Oh, God. I hate it when it does this. There we go. Crumpton Edwards, or oh, the worst. There we go. Right, do apologise for that. Right, we greeted with all this kit, so we get some advertisements. Obviously, the Warhawk there. We get some other ships and a flat panther. Put this one side. My instruction booklets there. And we get quite a bit of sprue. Uh, we also get this little box at the side. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so this little compartment at the side actually gives us all our little detail parts just down in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six big sprues, six big sprues, two clear sprues. Actually, made that three clear sprues. Yeah, so quite a hefty thing. There we go. It's quite a bit. Right. So first of all, we're going to go through the instructions, as I always do for my kit reviews. If you're interested in having a look at other kits, then please go along to the channel and follow the inbox reviews on the playlist. That'll help you out. 
Right, okay, so that's our colour schemes. Very good. So that's one side. Right, first page, if I can get the pages open. Come here, you. Right, okay. Start off, we have our part call outs. So, obviously, we have got uh, PE parts as well in this kit, as well as uh, rubber tyres. Oh, I don't, I don't know how I think about that, rubber tyres, but there we go. It's not weighted, that's the issue, but there we go. Right, so we start off our cockpits. We have obviously the seat going in. Actually, it's actually. Is that the actual correct seat? I believe so, yes. I believe so. Now, there was one issue that did pick up. Uh, I watched um, uh, Jason's review from Champion Scale Modeling, and he was actually right to point this out. And obviously, being a bit of a rivet, not a rivet counter, but you know what I mean. Uh, the floor with the P40 actually had a sloped kind of floor it matched the same as the top of the wing as this one is a straight floor so that's it's not really an issue but if you're really hardcore rivet counter then you're gonna pick that up so I'm just gonna put it out there but who cares right so anyway we put our seat going into the back firewall back here bulkhead couple of floor control stick all in one now it does look like we have to make our harnesses up Basically the same as Edouard, the PE sets. Now I don't know about drum to PE sets, how they operate, but how they feel and that, but there we go. So that's going to there. We have our rudder pedals being fitted into the bottom here. Our sidewall details going on. It looks like we have an option of decals going onto the instrument panel there. And a gun sight, I believe. It's, oh, okay. It's a fun looking gun sight. Do we get any clear plastic with that? I don't know. And then last but not least, we have our... Throttles going on the side there, oil openers. We have a compartment for our, our well, I was going to say newspaper, or if you want to, a map in there. So then we move on to our spinner and prop being fitted into there. We have so some caps going on there. Our air filters being fitted onto the bottom. Looks like we have some PE parts going onto there. And then we move on to the fuselage halves where we have some. We have our tail wheel going to the back here, our, try to think now, try to get the words out, exhaust parts, they go into the side, it looks like you have two that go going together, so you do have the option, or do you have the part to have the exhaust open, but you can have a seam line over the top. Then we have our front of the air intake, that classic air intake on the front there, going all together, parts being fitted there for the back. And there we have it, our spinner going on and all sandwiched up together. And then it's telling us to put our, oh it looks like it's telling us to put our canopy on there, which is a bit weird, but there we go. We have, um, I feel like they're not oiled, they're not, I don't know. Some compart some kind of um, <laughs> compartment looking like. Uh, it looks like we have now our wheel wells being made up. Uh, it says feel green to paint it. I'm not too sure about that colour, but there we go. Being fitted into the lower wing. We have the top of the wings going on. Now it does look like we have some P parts to make, I believe. So I don't know if this is the option for have our flaps open or not, but there we go. And we also have an option of whether we want the ammunition casings, well the ammunition boxes, lids, whatever you want to call it, being fitted into here. Uh, glass pieces being fitted with navigation lights and all sandwiched together. And it's now telling us to put obviously the wings to the fuselage and our radiators in there. It's simple as that. Wheels going in, making up the parts for the tyres, landing gear parts, suspensions, all going in there. A bit more of the landing gear parts going there, our wheel covers going on top there, and our landing gear doors. Pretty simple standard stuff, a lot. A lot. <laughs> of time going to this so far. Then we have our drop tanks, it does say optional, so is this the option to have our... Oh, okay, so we do get... Just have a look now, so all these PU parts we get, these are for for the um, landing flaps to be open, that's your choice whether you want to open or not. It does look like we get a really detailed um, well, like I just said, landing gear bay not landing gear bay, landing flaps bay. All going in there. We've got some parts going on. 
option for a closed piece or an open piece and there and by the looks of things we got our last page which is our elevators and rudder going on which is a bit weird for that for the last page and that is our instruction book so moving on to our color schemes very quickly so we have doo -doo -doo, let's have a look right okay so we have our a classic flying tiger scheme. Now this, I've noticed, I've just had a look at. It kind of bugs me in a way, and I'm going to show you Trumpeter and Hobby Boss, I believe. The, I, the one things, they do give some nice schemes, but the importance of information when they give you them is slightly lacking. I mean, this was one I was going to do anyway. This is a flying tiger scheme. Uh, I forgot who flew this. I think the gentleman was called John, I believe. I can't remember. Um, I'm trying to think of his name now. I think it's John Peach or something like that. Flew this one. It doesn't say who flew it, where it was based, or anything like that. So, yeah, it doesn't even say if it's a Chinese version or not. So, there we go. Anyway, moving on to this one. Like I said, this one actually does give us some information. It's the Sick Fighter Squadron, uh, the 49th Fighter Group, uh, USAF. Uh, serial number unknown. Now I know for a fact that this one will actually based in New Guinea, so that's another Pacific version you can make. Right, and we have the other two, which is a nice Russian scheme. Obviously, I do not know whereabouts in Russia it was based. All we know is there's the seventh uh, IAP VVS of the Black Sea Fleet. There you go. That's it. That's where we go. Serial number 32. And last but not least, we have this scheme. This one, it just says 11th uh, Fighter Squadron. Yeah, Light Fighter Squadron, 343rd Fighter Group, uh, USAF, serial number 39. And this one's based in Alaska. I remember this because I have drawn this aircraft before, uh, part of my GCSC. So, yep, yeah, that's where the one. So, we have a Chinese scheme. Americans, two American schemes, one from New Guinea, one from Alaska, and a very Russian scheme. Very, very nice, but it's got to be that shark mouth. That's one of my weaknesses so far. Sorry, I've had to just pop the light out. It's gone very dark in there. I know it's raining, but there we go. Anyway, right, we're going to move on to our smaller detail parts in the back. So bits and pieces here. So let's have a look. Let's get these parts out. Right, so we're going to go into our P parts, which are just there. Now, this is the parts that I was on about. Uh, the land, not the landing gear, the landing flaps. I keep need to stop saying that. Uh, they are absolutely delicate as hell by lots of things. Now, I do admit, try to have some nice packaging. So let's get this open. Actually, I'm not going to take that open because... Okay, right, so we have... In this, let me just zoom you in for a second, get you refocused. There we go. So we don't have our P parts now. These parts are all for that framework that we just saw in the instruction booklet. It's all got the parts for that. Uh, we've got our seat harness here. Have the optional gun sight. That was for in case the light went out. The ball went out, sorry. And we on the other side we have our air filters. That's that for the PE parts. So rubber tyres. I say, what more can I say? They're not actually hold on a minute. They're not solid rubber. They feel actually solid rubber. They feel like a plastic solid rubber. Including the tail wheel. Oh, tail wheel's rubber. You can feel that. But the actual wheels are solid. Hmm. Weird one. We have another thing, we have our, this is actually all part of the filters, that's not filter, yeah, part of the air intakes and also parts, just focus you a bit more, part of the um, radiators. And there, what else do we have here? We have obviously the famous part, the P40, the front radiator. Again, more intake parts go on the front there. Fix you in. There we go. All really nicely done. What else do we have? Right, let's have a look. Right, here we have our clear parts. 
again. Nicely packaged up, wrapped in this. I was going to say cotton, it's very funny, cotton. There we go. Right, so it looks like we get two canopies here. Oh, okay. Right, they are spot on. Yeah, man's a bit dry, that's something you don't really want to see. But there you go. That is actually really clear. I'm not going to lie to you on that. I don't know why we get two kind of frames, or I missed that, or I think one's for open, one's for closed, I believe. But there we go. That is actually really crystal clear. I'm not going to show the rest, take them out of the bags, because if that's the issue with them, then we know what to go with. So let's get this all wrapped up again. wrapped up and popped it back into the bag. Do that in a bit. What else do we have to review? Okay, right. Have a look. We have, very weirdly, our elevator parts in the back here. Get some nice fabric texture across there. There you go. Same on the sides, it's all one piece. Some part of the landing gear door at the back of the tail wheel. There. And most important, we, we have our decals. Decals are down here. Let's have a look. Take them out of the bag. Okay. Cellar tape down. Great. <laughs> this is one thing I don't like what they do. They put cellar tape onto their decals. Great. Okay, right straight away they are really, really clear, not gonna lie. Carry film, hmm, it's okay. Obviously, there's our detail for our instrument panel going on the back there. Doesn't say who they're printed by. Haven't seen that one. <laughs> I like that, the moose or the bull scheme on the front there, quite pretty cool. Very nice decals, very nice indeed. It's just a shame that they sellotaped them. I'm trying to think what else we've got here. Yeah, we've got some clear parts, like some lemon lights, but that is about it. So, we're going to be moving on to other parts. We have right down in here. Let's open this bag up. No, just non receivable bags. We have some details, parts like our exhaust. So let's have a look at see where they come from. Right, so the exhaust you can see they're all hollowed out. So that makes it really, really nice and more replicated. Well done. You also have a ordnance charge for a bomb underneath. We have some more pipe work for I think they're for our gear bay. Oh actually hold on, tell I what's this we have? Oh, we have some more radiators, not radiators, exhaust. They're not hollowed out fully, but they're much better than what you'd think. Okay, so yeah, well done on that. So we have an option of two exhausts. I did not see that on the instruction book, but... So well done again. What on the bags? Right, we're going to get the elephant in the room done. We're going to get the humongous wing. So if I just see you out a second, I'll show you the size scale of these wings. So compared to my hand, yeah, that is a big wing. So, yeah, it's, I think it's slightly bigger than the Zero, I believe. I do have Tamiya Zero, so you can have a fighting <laughs> chance at that. So this is one thing I did notice when I did have a look at the box, when I've done. Now this is one thing I did like, so you get some nice internal detail. Now, one thing I did notice, if I focus you, Zoom you in a bit more. Right, if you look very close, you can see those barrels are hollow. Look at that. That looks really nice. That'll be really nice done. Obviously, you can get some P ones or resin ones, I presume. But now, if we turn it over to the other side, here's our wing. Now, if we just get you in the light there, 
that's all our rivets. Look at that. Obviously, we've got our where the ammo boxes go. All down there. Hey, that's really riveted well. Not bad, Trumpeter. Not bad. Not bad at all. Obviously, the same on the underside as well. There you go. Look at all that. Obviously, we got our ammo chutes at the back there. Land the gear and then part of the fuselage going along there. But yeah, really top notch trumpeter. Well done. Right, so we're going to have a look at some more parts. Obviously, I don't think I'll take these out of the bags. No, because they're. Actually, do I? Do I not? Okay, so we have our other parts. We have. Obviously, our landing gear doors. Doesn't say. I've got that glare on there. I don't really want that. There's our cockpit floor I was saying about earlier. Got a control stick there. Parcel landing gear bay doors. Again, really riveted all over. This is our rudder. Fabric detail is beautiful. Elevator controls. Fins, whichever I call it. And we have our spinner. It's actually... Quite difficult to show you there, but we do have some nice detail on that. So there we go. So that's that one done. And we have, let's have a look. This is our fuselage halves going in here. Let's take you out. I'll show you again the rivet details on the side here. Okay, right, so there we go. So again, the fuselage is quite big piece of kit so as my hand compared to a front we're going to focus you in again see if you come up so there we go all oh, that's lovely rivet detail across the fuselage there you can just see beautiful once again absolutely beautiful uh, there's no oh actually tell I oh that's very nice Let's show this. That's our instrument panel. Looks very nice actually. You might want well to cut those decals out and put them in actually individual. I'd rather do that. Obviously no internal detail because it's all on the cockpit. But same on the offside again. I can't see any issues so far. It's just funny how the plastic's moulded at the back here. You can see just in the light there. You can see what's moulded but there we go. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be a really, really nice build when I get around to it. And our last but not least sprue, we have all our internal details box and things. Like I say, we have just, there, if I take out the bag, this one. Sure done with the one, really. Okay, so again we have our internal framework there, some really nice piping work going down there, our seat, parts for our landing gear and there, the ammo covers, part of the, also we have two parts of the, the rudding system for the flaps, our prop, one piece going there, let's turn you around. Have our drop tack underneath if you wish. Have some detail for. Hmm, there you go. Some detail for the rudder pedals there. Covers, radiator, and throttle lever side just there. And obviously, last but not least, we have our rear bulkhead with padding. There we go, guys. Right, so that is trumpeters. 130 seconds, I have to think about that, 130 seconds P40, that's the brand new one kit, so that is all done and dusted, so just make sure this camera doesn't topple over, last minute, probably would do now in my luck, but anyway that's a review of the kit, I'm have to say, over the moon by it, now Trumpeter's kits, they're hit and miss, um, I know Jason picks up a few bits and pieces when he reviews his F and his N, I believe, Warhawk, but apart from that, they're Obviously, the few niggles with the cockpit floor. I can't see any others until we get round to building. So it's just one of them. 
So with that, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm really looking forward actually to the first one. I'm really actually want to start making it, but I've got a few things to sort out first. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Take care, happy modeling, and I shall see you in another one in quite a while actually. So with that, cheers and goodbye for now.